Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going through my dining room and you guys will get to see how I decorated it for Christmas this year. And then at the very end of the video, I'm going to add two photographs. One is my table setting for Thanksgiving and the other one is my table setting for Christmas this year. Hi everyone and welcome to my living room slash dining room. So we're gonna start out the tour with my snow covered tree. And on my snow cover tree, I have these bubble lights. We went to Florida and we went to a restaurant called The Bubble Room. Now it has amazing food, so definitely check that restaurant out. And they also have these bubble lights everywhere. We love them so much that we ended up ordering a strand on Amazon. So you can get those on Amazon. Over here we have our live tree. So on this live tree, we have all of the ornaments that we bought on vacation. As we go on vacation, we buy an ornament every place that we visited and we would put it on this tree. It's just a little tradition that we had started. Also, another tradition that we started is these snowmen. Um, my daughter really loved snowmen when she was younger, so we would buy her a different snowman every year. We got her her own little carrier case for her snowmen, and then she would put all of her snowmen on the tree. And then when she does get older and she decides to move out, she can take that box of ornaments with her. So then she can enjoy those with her family when she has one. Now over here, we, we have our stockings on the fireplace, and these are from Pottery Barn great quality, amazing stockings. They actually will embroider your name at the top. And they have lasted, I've had them for years. They have lasted so long, really nice quality. I have my lanterns over here. Now, all I did with these lanterns is I just made a little bow and put, put it on the lantern and then got a little greenery pick and put that in there just to jazz it up for the holidays. The garland on my fireplace is from Gail Gray. Also the picks that I put into the garland to, to make it look a little sparkly. Um, they're from Gail Gray as well. So are these tin reindeers on the twine. And now they go all across my garland. These stocking hooks are from Home Goods. Over here, we have a pillow from Eric and Christopher. It's another local company in Pennsylvania. They do amazing pillows. They, can, they do cats, dogs, bunnies on their pillows, and they're so cute. So if you do get a moment, check out Eric and Christopher. Back there is our Buyer's Choice dolls again. Over here is my arrangement. And I just want to talk about this a little bit. Like you don't have to buy a whole new floral arrangement for your vases when you, you know, when the season changes. I just I just get a couple berry picks and I just stick them in there and that jazzes it up for the uh, holiday season. And then when spring rolls around, I'll get like tulips and I'll poke a few tulips in there. And I keep those white flowers in all year round. So now we're gonna go to my dining room table. I got the, the jars that are on the table from Home Goods, And I just changed those also with the seasons. In the summertime, we have shells in, in the jars. In the fall, we put pumpkins in there. You'll see that at the end of the video. A product recommendation, get yourself one of these candles. If you love the smell of coffee, you are going to love this Paris Cafe candle. It smells so good. Over here, we have our Buyer's Choice dolls again and our little tins that we made. And we can actually keep these tins out all year round. All we have to do is flip them around. The other side doesn't have a wreath on it. So we can keep those around all year round. Over here, Buyer's Choice Santas again. And then we have my pencil tree. And I ended up picking up these ornaments this year from um, Home Goods. And they are by Martha Stewart. And they are these plaid ornaments. They come in like two different sizes. And they're so cute that I couldn't resist. I had to get them for my pencil tree. 
And that's it. That's the end of our tour.